Hans Thomas, though, FlightHive.com. Here with Shakur Stevenson. How you feeling today, man? I'm ready. Ready to go. Anything different about this training camp, man? I think I was, uh, I think I was better than I was my last two training camps. So, um, I think I was really sharp this training camp. Was it because you know the dangers that Contracal brings to the table, or is it just you continuing to get better and better as a fighter, man? Nah, it's me getting, continuing to get better and better as a fighter. Um, all these fighters got dangerous to them. Um, Valdez, he got dangerous power. Jamel got dangerous awkwardness. Um, this dude got another dangerous awkwardness about him, but um, all these fighters got some type of dangers to them, so I ain't really looking at it like, it's a danger, I mean, I'm, I'm, I am I'm jump towards danger. I ain't, I don't back away from danger. You know, I've, throughout your career so far, I've never seen anybody attempt to try to outbox you. But that's gonna be, I would assume, his game plan in particular, because that's pretty much all that he does. Are you kind of looking forward to showing that, yeah, he was an Olympic gold medalist, a really great boxer, but you know, you're gonna make it look kind of easy in there. I don't know his game plan. I don't know if that's his game plan. Uh, we never know. We know once he get in the ring. Um, that's what you assume, but we don't know what his game plan really is. But um, I'm ready to just show who I am. I'm ready to show that I've been getting better. Um, I want to show what I've been doing in training camp and just, you know, going there and beat him up. You know, you, you've reached a stage in your career where it's just like so many people are talking about what's next, what's next, what's next, before you even get into the ring, man. You haven't fought the guy yet. They're talking about Lomachenko. They're talking about Devin Haney. Talking about you moving up. Does it kind of get to a point where you're just like, damn, can we just focus on the fight? Like, I just want to focus on this guy before we jump, you know, ahead to like all these other stuff, man. Now, that's the story of my life. I ain't, I don't care about it. It don't bother me. Um, that's the story, that's what it is as a, a professional athlete. It's always going to be what's next. Everything that you do, um, as soon as you get out the ring, they're always looking for what's next. So you got to always be prepared for what's next at the end of the day. But um, right now, my focus is Robertson. So once I handle business, then we're going to start talking about what's next. You know, I got to ask you, did you see the video where um, um, Saul Poppy was saying that you're his favorite fighter, man? Who? Saul Poppy. He's like a YouTube fighter. Who? I'll show you a video of him, but he's like a YouTube What's fighter, Salt Poppy. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, he was saying that like you're like his favorite fighter and stuff like that. For real? Tell him I appreciate it. Do you um do you pay attention to Deji? Um, he's KSI's little brother and the the win that he got like a few weeks ago. You gotta talk up. Deji, do, do you pay attention to him? Like he's KSI's little brother. He's supposed to be fighting Floyd. Went I to kind of get you. I, I know KSI. I heard him, but I don't know no Deji. Gotcha. At this stage in your career, I know that you kind of looked up to Floyd a little bit. Do you still kind of, you know, like when you're in your room, kind of by yourself, do you still look back at those tapes where Floyd was so dominant and yeah. kind of just dissect that? Yeah, I definitely do. Uh, Floyd is one of the best fighters to ever do it, and we got to give him his respect. And he knew the art of hitting and not getting hit. And that's how I want to be in the sport. I want to be a person that once I leave, I still got everything that I came in with. Floyd is a prime example of that. And, uh, so I sit back, I watch his tapes. I, I watch how he get out of uh, danger sometimes, maybe in a corner sometimes in a trap, and he find a way to get out. So um, I just watch certain things with Floyd, and I pick up on it myself. Gotcha. And just my last thing I wanted to ask you, um, I know that you're really just mostly interested in, you know, unifications, collecting more belts. Um, but I know making 130 is getting a, a prize probably getting a little bit difficult for you. Like when I look at you in person, you're a pretty, you know, put together guy. Um, at this point, are you just like, look, if I don't get the the rest of the titles, I mean, the rest of the champions at 130 pounds, then my next fight is going to be at 135. I don't want to make the weight anymore. Got a special announcement after the fight. Uh, we'll talk about that after the fight. Gotcha. Appreciate you, bro.